Binge Pipe is pleased to bring back You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, you're still not allowed to play, Tony. Hey, I'm Cookie. Welcome to Binge Pipe's very own You Don't Know Jack. Oh yes, this game has always been part of the Binge Pipe family. And anyone who says otherwise will be severely reprimanded. Trust me. Looks like a good group. Be careful not to have too much fun, or you might coalesce into a makeshift family that's really there for each other in times of trouble. Okay, let's see what lies ahead. Time for question one. To begin with, I'm in love with your body. Boy, I sure hope famously shaggy-haired British singer-songwriter Ed Sheeran doesn't totally change his look before this game comes out. If I sheared Ed Sheeran like an adult sheep, how often would I typically shear him? Twice a year, once a year, once every two years, or once in a lifetime? Hope you like what you picked. An adult sheep is typically sheared once a year. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, here's a good one. The internet is sick. Which of these online sensations would not be a viral video? Keyboard cat gets rabies, Charlie bit my finger and gave me tuberculosis, grape lady falls and gets mumps, or sneezing panda might have hepatitis C. Okay, what'd you pick? You did a bad job. <laughs> tuberculosis is a bacterial infection. The other diseases are viral. So wash your hands, unless you want to go full-blown YouTube star. Why do we do it with three? And now, I want to squawk and roll. I also want to diss or dat. I'm going to read seven names, and for each I want you to tell me if it's a rock band that has played Lollapalooza or an animal from Richard Scarry's Busy Town children's books. Think fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between a rock band or a Richard Scarry animal. And you're all doing this together, so look alive. Okay, let's do it. Lonely Worm. Honest Mouse. Dr. Lion. Wolfgang Wolf. Joe Pug. Dr. Dog. Dinosaur Jr. You can't spell disastrous without us. All right, let's move on. I don't need you anymore. Up next, can't get a dateline. Say the events of Fyodor Dostoevsky's classic novel, Crime and Punishment, are featured in an episode of Dateline NBC. What pithy episode title would make the most sense? The Ingenue's Fateful Ride. The Pawnbroker and the Murderer. The Landlord's Last Lease. Or a white... I love this part. An answer... Most Foul. <laughs> This is the correct answer, or is it? <laughs> Remember this moment. In Crime and Punishment, the protagonist, Rodion Raskolnikov, murders an old pawnbroker woman. <laughs> or did he? I mean, he did, it's explicitly stated, but I'm trying to build some suspense here, people. All 
I call this one... I go for the robot sex, but I stay for the heavily telegraphed plot twists. What should HBO title a Westworld spin-off if the producers wanted the title to contain an ordinal direction? Eastworld, Upworld, Southwestworld, or Leftworld? Let's see how that shook out. The ordinal directions on a compass, also known as the intercardinal directions, are southwest, northwest, northeast, and southeast. And in Southwest World, you can go to all the Arizona Cardinal games you want, and marijuana is mostly legal in some parts of it. That's the end of round one. Where's that beautiful scoreboard? Currently, these players are tied for the lead. And as a counterpoint, these players are negatively affecting our averages. Looks like it's screw time. <laughs> That's correct, binge pipe employee Cookie Masterson. Use the screw to make answering a question harder for all the other players. The results may surprise you, and you'll receive a bonus for each player who chooses incorrectly. Mm-hmm. I couldn't have said it better myself. Apparently. The rest of you better answer fast before you get screwed. Oh, and uh, remember, questions are worth twice as much in round two. You can take that to the bank. Six trombones is not a parade. Next up, Hits Boss. If Old Spice came out with a deodorant with an Elon Musk musk, what would it smell like? A freshly opened Amazon box, an unused iPhone, a brand new Tesla, or a bag of whole food produce? Let's see who got it. Elon Musk is the CEO of Tesla Motor Company. And I for one welcome driverless cars because it's in cars that I'm most commonly subjected to other people's body odor. Las pears se moque de moi. Set. Let's try... How dare he strangle such a long, elegant neck. And oh boy, best butt zit slime chore. It's time for a... Flitter is non Remember to type quick. That cash will be counting down until you lock in an answer. Okay, head in the game. Take a look at this gibberish phrase and tell me what TV show title it rhymes with. Kill a swan, shall he? And pay no attention to that punctuation. A show about people who make computers. In a town obsessed with technology. Uh, it's that HBO show. I can't think of a better clue. Sorry. Okay, pencils down. Player two. Congratulations, you're the most wrong. <laughs> so, what was it? Oh, and player two, I saw what you typed. Okay, it didn't escape me, but it's just odd that this is still a thing for people. Back in the day, it was like, oh my god, you type this in, and then he talks to you. Yes, it was groundbreaking in the 90s. I mean, so was air travel at one point. But today, is anyone like, it's not possible for this thing to be up in the sky? Anyway, if you want an Easter egg so bad, look at your device. Now, back to the game. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. How about this one? Great moments in sports. Who was the first man to golf on the moon? Buzz, clubs can't handle me, Aldrin, Neil, Birdie Money, Armstrong, and what's this? Player 4 just screwed the room. Binge Pipe was going to make you read this eventually. Might as well be now. So what'd you pick? Huh?
It shouldn't be this hard. Apollo 14 astronaut Alan Shepard was the first man to play golf on the moon. Not to be confused with the Monstars, of course. The first cartoon aliens to ball on Earth. Oh, excellent screwing player four. Spend this wisely. Introducing type equals squiggly bracket literature comma classic squiggly bracket. Except all cookies don't clear your cash. It's time for data mining. In case you don't know, Benchpipe needs help categorizing some ill-gotten data. Yes, Cookie. I can ask the question now. Do sisters be writing? Do heights be weathering? And do I be sick with tuberculosis? Whose search history have we acquired? Virginia Woolf, Emily Bronte, Jane Austen, or Louisa May Alcott? Who picked what? Check, please. Emily Bronte had famous writer sisters, wrote Wuthering Heights, and died of tuberculosis. <laughs> Cataloging which humans died of which disease is just a hobby of ours. Try this on for size. Thank God it's Friday the 13th. What type of summer camp would be terrorized by Jason Voorhees? A band camp? A math camp? Well, what do you know? Player 6 just dropped a screw on you guys. I really hope you have auto-rotate on. Okay, who chose what? The entire Friday the 13th horror saga started with a young Jason Voorhees drowning in the lake. But that's not what we're talking about here. <laughs> Math. It'll always cause you pain. <laughs> JSON is a computing term meaning JavaScript object notation. I could easily explain it to you, but what do you know? We don't have the time. In the first film, the killer is actually JSON's motherboard. Excellent screwing player six. Here's that cash. Ow. Time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. My precious, and also my semi-precious. This jack attack is a real gem. Good luck.
4 has got it! Nicely done, Player 4. That was a real rags to riches story. I can't wait till you get back to rags because... Jessica, I know I'm from the future, but I love you. Got a date right after work, and you find yourself a little worried about what's going on down there? Well, maybe you shouldn't have let that family of possums move in. Bears versus more bears. We hired too many bears and not enough other types of animals. I've never told anyone that before. Not even my mom, because I feel so close to you, Jennifer. My name is Kendall. Whoopsie doodle.